Now let's discuss the parameters and the response file and the response file template for ZDM. Before I get into the specific parameters, let me speak a little bit about the template. Here on the ZDM service host, I'm logged in as a ZDM user. I'm in the ZDM home, and I'm in the subdirectory ZD, uh, RXP ZDM template. And as you can see, in this directory is a file called ZDM template.rsp. RSP. This file is the one that comes with the base installation of ZDM. I recommend that you copy this and copy it to a name that makes sense for your project and then modify it, leaving the original intact. And here, within the uh, template file, you will see that it follows a fairly standard and common uh, uh, parameter file format. You will see that we use comments with a pound sign at the beginning of the line. So any line that has a pound at the beginning will be ignored by ZDM. We use a parameter equals value uh, basis for read-in parameter values. And also, if there are parameters without values provided, then they will be ignored, for example, here, where it says target data ACFS, which I'll explain in a moment, this value will be ignored by ZDM unless it's a mandatory value. At which point, the eval phase will pick it up and warn you. Now, back to some of the specific parameters that you need to provide for the basic migration. Now, this particular case, I'm talking about an online migration, and the target that we're using here is XRCC. Uh, <clears throat> so, one of the things I would like to point out about the format of the parameters is that many of them will have a prefix of TGT or R, uh, SRC, indicating whether or not this parameter applies to the target database or the source database. Very often you will have the same parameter, but the only difference is the prefix, like you see here with the HTTP proxy URL for source and target. So first, you need to provide the target DB unique name. This is the value that you get from the so parameter DB unique name. You need to pick a migration method. In our case, because we're doing an online migration, is DG underbar OSS, meaning it uses DataGuard and Oracle block storage. The platform type, well, in our case, it's XSCS. And then you have source and target HTTP proxy URL and proxy port. For the source, this is the value needed by the ZDM service host to be able to connect to the source database server. For the target, it is a value needed by the uh, ZDM uh, service host to connect to the target database servers. Here, you will see source and target OSS proxy host. This is the value needed by the ZDM uh, 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 service host to be able to connect to the source uh, object storage. However, the, sort, uh, the target OSS proxy host and proxy port is slightly different. These are the host and target URLs and ports that are needed for the uh, target uh, database server to connect to the uh, object storage. Here we have target SSH tunnel port. This is the port number that you specify when setting up the SSH tunnel on the uh, source database server. 
And then here we have the storage uh, information needed on the target. And here we have data, data uh, disk group, redo disk group, reco disk group. Or if you prefer using ACFS, data ACFS, redo ACFS, and reco ACFS. Uh, you can only use one or other of these values on your for your target database. Here we have host and OPC container, which is the cloud storage URL and bucket to hold the backup. We have skip fallback, uh, which uh, when set to true means that there is no reverse sync back to the uh, uh, source. And then we have source and target RMAN channels. These are the number of RMAN channels that are allocated on the source and target database servers for accessing the RMAN backups. By default, if you provide no value, it will be 10 channels. However, if you find through testing that another value is optimal, please feel free to use it. 